What's going on guys from all as well? Today is first day after the weekend. I don't know, July 8th. July 8th, 2024. I'm at this townhouse right now. It says he's calling for 68 and it's 78. Or he's calling for 70, it's 68 or 78 in the house. And this is what we have over here. Okay, 2023, I mean 2003, Piston, okay, 410, 410, seven pounds, okay, high, low pressure switches, high, low pressure switches, okay, so anyway, we're not running, indoor fans, good, the filter's good, it's in the ceiling, and let's see if we have voltage out here, if we don't, we'll go inside and check the float switches. A float switch, safety switch if there is one. Pressure switch is closed, it's good. Low pressure switch over here, where it's supposed to go. Call for cooling. High pressure switch error, so it's 31. You got one, two, three. And one. High pressure, not holy shit. Looks like to me. Wow, bro. Wow. Wow. Oh. Let's see how long this takes to. So, I'm gonna time it. I'll tell you guys how long it takes. High pressure. Huh? Holy shit. Shit, it looks like the main. Wow, bro. Wow. Wow. Six right now. PM. Yeah, there's a restriction somewhere in this line set. So I gotta go upstairs, check the filter dryer. Looks like I'll see one here. Liquid line restriction, I'm gonna have over the top super heat and my, my sub cooling is normal. Um, but I mean, super heat was. Uh, hey guys, I'm thanks for watching that part of the weird, boring video. Um, I'm gonna go to another job right now, another call. It says no AC. I've been in this house before, he's got two hydro coil air handlers. I've only worked on the heating side of the system, so. I'm not sure what's going on with, I'm not sure what he has for setup as far as high, you know, like variable speeds, what, what he has for, for uh, condensers, heat pumps, I'm not sure, but I know he's got hydro heating, and I only remember that because something with the boiler last year, but that first time for the summer, I'll be at this guy's house. Uh, let's check it out. And I hope everybody had a nice 4th of July weekend. It was nice. I, it was a good, like, five days off. I actually went in on Friday just to help one of my coworkers out for two calls because he, he got kind of slammed because our office was closed. So, but um, that's it. Let's see what it is. What it is. Sorry about that. What were you saying now before I cut well, you? Well, the downstairs air conditioner. We have two units. Okay. okay. We have one in the basement that does this floor, then the upstairs, and the upstairs one that's not. What's like it that. not doing? What is it? Is the 
air inside blowing air? Uh, like just room temperature air. I'm gonna come it's in. It's blowing check. air, but the, the it's condenser not, isn't okay. isn't operating. So I still want. Can I start inside still though? Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I like absolutely. to have a little process. Okay. There's always a process. I believe in it. Check filter. Check airflow. Check drains. And you go outside. Check pumps. No water in it at all. Filter's good, airflow, and nothing's on the outside, so let's go check it out. That's where you're getting out of your supply. Fan works. I, I when I got when I walked over here, I thought I heard the compressor, but the fan wasn't running. It's not. I'm not even getting my contacts are not going in. So let me check voltage right here. A couple of things. Okay. Uh, you like it? We got each other. My pressure switches. It's my low pressure switch. Took them out of the circuit. Your low pressure is the yellow downstairs, right there, down there. You see it downstairs. And your purple blue is your high pressure. Okay, your high pressure. We're gonna go to low pressure. Bring it out. I'm sorry, low we're checking low pressure right now. I'm gonna get them air conditioning today. We'll have to come back for a leak search. I'm gonna run my, oh damn, I don't even have my leak detector with me. I have bubbles and all. So I added a pound and my pressure switch, I mean my uh, pressure switch closed and my contactor pulled in. I couldn't hear with this thing. So what I'm gonna do is add, I'm gonna get him going today because he's got the kids' rooms upstairs and um, we are going to schedule a leak search for him because this is a 2020 and it's got a first company upstairs so we're going to schedule a leak search for him if it's in one of the coils like over 10 degrees of subcool we're getting there right now i had to add three pounds 10 ounces right now that's so far but I'm, i have to let this sit. he's good 12 and 7 that'll that sub will come up he's good for now So we have 
had 89 coming out before. Obviously, it wasn't running, but yeah, that's good. It's great. It's at my return right now. It's about 90 up here. Excuse my fingers. I feel like a scratchy yard. Hey guys, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. That system had 124 PSIG standing pressure. Um, it came down below the low pressure switch, so I don't know where it was operating at. Um, so it's going to have to get a leak search. I wouldn't have, even with an audible leak detector, I wouldn't have done it today because. And what I did was I charged him just to get it going. I mean, I didn't charge him to get it going today. I, he, he's going to pay for the leak search and we'll get it fixed for him. It all, it's all included with our pricing. But um, unless it's non-repairable, if it's in a coil, then we'll go through the warranty process. But thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I hope everybody, again, had a great holiday weekend. Take it easy. There's the fire, those fire systems. I love those things.